Hey besties, today I woke up and decided it's time to rearrange my bookshelves. I'm gonna give you a quick tour of my bookshelves because they are just really chaotic. I've been buying books, reading books, so as I take them off my TBR, they've been getting just like thrown on the shelf. Not really anything special. So I really need to go in and just like resort through them because not every book on this shelf I have read. Without further ado, I'm going to give you a quick tour of my bookshelves and then we're going to just get started. I just rolled out of bed and was like, let's do this. So you can see I'm literally in an old college t-shirt and like no makeup, but here we are. This will be really fun. I'm very excited to have new and improved bookshelves because these are a source of a little bit of stress for me right now. You'll see in a minute. Everything is just kind of like thrown. And then of course the cat likes to push things off the shelves. So here is the cat in question. Oh he's he's angry. He's angry. Okay. Alright. I have this like ladder bookshelf over here that I love. So it's this um darker wood color. You can see it's very dusty. I also need to like go through and dust. But up here I have my Magnolia Parks series currently displayed just because the covers are so beautiful. I'm reading the first Daisy Hates book right now is why it's not up there. And then I have a little bit of a fantasy shelf um, plus some books that just kind of fit up there at the time. This is my romance shelf. It's looking a little rough. Down here I have um, the Natural series, the Lunar Chronicles. And then the Harry Potter series. And then down here I just have some books that either I just kind of wanted to keep or like a random collection of books that didn't really fit anywhere else. So those are all down here. On this little, uh, it's like a cutie little table that my mom got me. I just keep all my bookmarks and tabs. So I have all of these bookmarks from Allie, uh, what's it called? Allie Rose Co. Just super cute, like Hot Girls Read. I'm using the pink one of this right now in my book. And then, of course, over here I have this bookshelf it's right next to like. This is kind of a weird area, and I do want to put my TBR cart right here eventually. I just need to get a new laundry basket, and it's going to go in the closet. But, and then I just have my fan right here. So let's go through this. On top, I just have um, my name tag and some ears from whenever I worked at Disney. Of course, I have my Sarah J. Mass shelf. Um, I do have a really random collection of the Throne of Glass series because I read them all on my Kindle and then I've just been collecting them as I find them on sale. So, And then, of course, right here, I just have some of my favorite books. I have the Elsie Silver, literally the best series ever. I don't have the first one in the mirror cover, so it's really sad. I really need to find a mirror cover that's not like $70. Um, and then just a random Lauren Asher. Of course, we have the Ballad of, or Once Upon a Broken Heart series. I ordered this online thinking it would match these two. It's really tall. It's so great. Love that. But the cover is gorgeous. So we'll figure it out. It's okay. And then, of course, I have all my editions of Fourth Wing. Um, these are actually signed by. There she is. Rebecca Yaros. Um, because I went to the book signing in December. So I have Fourth Wing, regular Fourth Wing, Iron Flame, and an extra copy of Iron Flame that's also signed. Don't ask. Um, right here I have the UK editions of Divine Rivals and Ruthless Fowls, just because I just ordered these. They came in the mail, so I just stuck them right here. These are my TBR shelves. Okay, here's this is my immediate TBR, things I want to read immediately. Um, and then I just have a picture of MK and I in Italy some little random stuff I just shoved there and then this is my eventual TBR things I need to read eventually but maybe not on the top of my list right now and then of course I just have my record vinyls right here and then down here so this is another thing that needs to get fixed this is my vinyl player my record player and then I have a basket with like random bookish stuff and like some random postcards in there and just some decorations highlighters so i really want to fix up this shelf i'm thinking the only thing is like this shelf doesn't move but then the other ones do i'm thinking that i want to put like my record player here and then have like my surgery mouse shelf up here still and then down here maybe having my tbr 
shelves on the bottom too um it's kind of what i'm thinking we'll see but that is the shelf you can just see it's just kind of a junk pile right now it looked really nice and then i just kept buying books Okay, we have made quite the mess. Yikes. Critter, is that being respectful of the books? What did we talk about? What did we talk about? Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> so I have all of these are the ones on my TBR on the floor. And then I have like all the decorations and such up here. Ignore my tissue. Sorry. Um, and then I just kind of piled everything over here. I'm about to go through and organize these based on maybe genre, author, books I think go together. So like, oh my goodness, I have to brag because Allie Hazelwood is the first author that I have read all of her backlist. So I just finished Loathe to Love You um, yesterday and that was the last one that I needed to read from her. So I'm very proud of that, honestly. An author with like a decent backlist that I've actually finished. Sergey Mass, obviously but she has Catwoman, I have not read that yet, so it doesn't quite count just yet, but Allie Hazelwood. organized everything into piles now so that hopefully it'll be a little bit easier let me show you here i have my ally hazelwood books here is my tbr all of these books right here and these like five piles right here i have all of my romance books that i have read then i have like harry potter um any of my like mysteries um the lunar chronicles which technically i read like a really long time ago so i haven't decided if i want to put that on my tbr or if it's just going to stay like displayed and then these are my fantasy books that i have read here and then here's kind of like a mix of books from high school that i do kind of want to go in and read again so again i haven't decided if i want to put those on my tbr or not um along with any just like random books that i have and kind of need to go through and decide if i'm going to keep or give them away that is what I have right there. So this is not as bad as I thought it was going to be, but now we get to organize them on the shelves.
and this is perfect because whenever I get the rest of the Throne of Glass series, that'll fill the top part. I could do like this on top. Super cutie. Aw. Yeah, and then whenever I get the rest of the Throne of Glass, that'll fill up this little top portion. I really, really like that. Let's take a step back. Okay. Yes, this is literally so cute. So as you can tell, I'm very new to vinyls. That's why I have the suitcase one because it's just cheaper. Um, and I only have the Red Taylor's version and then the Disney 100 along with two vinyls I got from a thrift store. I'm actually going to use these on my wall over here. So this way I can actually play my vinyl player because it's just been like sitting on the bottom of the shelf and I haven't played it because I don't really have a place to like put it out. So this looks really cute, although I am going to keep it closed whenever I'm not playing it just because I don't want dust and everything to get on it. I feel like that's kind of a bad idea. So yeah, maybe I'll put like something on top of it to decorate it, but this is good for right now. I really, really like that and I'm really glad that... We got that all figured out so now for these bottom three shelves because i have one more over here that now i get to put on the bottom i think i'm gonna do my tbr yeah and then on the shelf over there i'm just holding this um and then on the shelf over there i think i'm gonna do all of my like displays that's what i'm thinking let's see how that turns out oh my goodness I always forget that I have an Ollivander's wand. Um, my first time that I went to Harry Potter World Land in Universal, um, I was with a bunch of boys and I made them go with me to get this. <laughs> and I got this one. This is not like my birthday one. Um, this is like the Ivy, I think. Oh, Ash number three. And it's really big. I just have to show you because um, here we go. And it's like the ash one and it has the interactive tip on it so super fun it's literally gorgeous like if i were in harry potter this is the wand i would want just because it has like all these little details so fun i just love it and i would go around like casting spells <laughs> um whenever i lived there over the summer as well i've only read the first two right now but i just finished the second one like two weeks ago or something so i'm going to finish all of the harry potter books before i get to go back which i don't even know when that's gonna be but i really want to finish the harry potter books so that i can watch all the movies as well and then just kind of compare them so don't get mad at me because i've never actually read them and then i have a wand but so i'm thinking on this top shelf i usually will do whatever books i want to display at the moment um so it was the magnolia park series and then before that it was akatar and then for a while it was like fourth wing but I do have a special edition of Akatar. I could put up here, let me show you. I got this from Books A Million the other day. I was the last one and no wonder it was the last one. It is a little bit damaged. I don't know if you can see that right here, but this little like, yeah. But we're just not gonna talk about it. <laughs> we're just gonna pretend it doesn't exist like all my other problems. <laughs> and, um, but it's literally gorgeous um so pretty it's Feyre and then the wolf on the back and i don't think there's anything oh there is there are some little designs on the inside it looks like oh and then the end papers are like this gold foil super fun oh i have my divine rivals technically those are on my tbr but i could put them up here and then i know that i want to read them so i'll just like keep them in my brain I already showed you guys these, but these are my UK editions of Divine Ravels and L Ruthless Vows. So I could put those up here. My, literally, this is a two book series and I have four. Um, okay, let's see. So both of my Iron Flame copies are signed. And then they have these little stamps that they put on them too. I guess. I'll put one iron flame and then this fourth wing is signed. And then the, I don't think I got this one signed actually. Because I didn't realize whenever I went to the signing that they were going to give us a copy of iron flame. So I brought my copy of iron flame and then this copy of fourth wing because 
they said that you can only bring in two books i should have brought in this my two copies of fourth wing because they did give us a copy of iron flame that's why i have two i'm not going to tell you that i accidentally hacked three but i sold one to my friend <laughs> anyways um what if we okay okay maybe i put the light one in the middle i don't mind that i don't mind that it's not bad so i used to have my fantasy up here and i could still have my fantasy up here um but maybe i do like my harry potters and then some of my like favorite fantasies up here just so that they're like the first thing i see i think that's what i'm gonna do i know I got this off of eBay for like 50 bucks. It also came with the library books, like the three books, series, but. <laughs> okay, okay. And then I have this little boot and it has matches in it. It's so cute. I also, I made this. I just have to flex real quick. Okay, I'm thinking that's kind of cute. Okay. I think Ali Hazelwood has to like first and foremost be in there. The only thing is that Bride is black, so it doesn't really fit in with the rainbow. But I want her to be with the rest of Ali Hazelwood, so I'm thinking she's gonna have to work. Okay. Okay, well. Alright then. So I'm thinking. This is not Roy Bib, don't hate on me. The moral of this video is don't hate on me because I'm sensitive. Okay. The rest of my romances. <laughs> All right. Drama. I need it to be known that I tried to order the first mirror cover off of um, eBay and look what I got. Why is it so thin? And why is it lovely this? Literally, literally why? Anyways, I got my money back. Um, and then this literally got me out of my book slump. I need you to know that this book is literally so good. I love all of her books. I just only have this one in her physical copy. This is really all the romances that I have that I've read. If anyone has the first mirror book in this and they want to sell it to me, please let me know. Please let me know. I need it so bad. So now we've moved down. I'm sitting on the floor. In case you couldn't tell um so this shelf i think i'm gonna make um another fantasy shelf i really thought that i had more books that i was gonna need to put on here but um i guess a lot of the books that were on my shelves were in fact tbr books because there's not a lot of books left for me to like put up here that i finished so i need to chop chop and get these get these books done so first i think i'm gonna put my assistant to the villain which has the original red i followed her literally since she began doing skits and she had like 500 followers love her so sweet um vow of these and dance of thieves these are the books that got me back into reading so put these back up here these i actually read them in high school you can tell because winter came out when i was in high school and it's in the hardback while everything else is in the soft paperback So sorry if you can hear the construction actually i have a story to tell i literally my camera battery died so i was like okay i'll take a break i'll like go make lunch 
and then the trash needed to go out so i was gonna be a good roommate right like i was gonna go take out the trash whatever i get my trash from my bathroom there's a back alley where our trash cans are so i go like through the fence whatever throw our trash away there's in the back alley one of my neighbors is having a tree cut down so i was like looking at them cut down this tree like the nosy nelly i am like this is what i deserve but there's this wire that it's like rooted in the ground but it's sticking up i'm guessing it's from it looks like there used to be concrete there um but it's like old and it's not there anymore so there's just this wire that like sticks up and i was being nosy and watching these construction workers and i literally tripped and fell and it was it was like slow motion i have not fallen in years i don't think i think i can't even remember the last time like i had a really bad fall <laughs> i trip on this wire and then my other foot catches so i can't catch myself i land on my wrist which this like my like pinky right here hurts i hope it's fine i think it's probably fine skin my knee like i'm in fifth grade like and so i fall onto the ground and i just sit there and i'm like i just fell in front of all of these construction workers <laughs> they're gonna think that i'm crazy um anyways so i scramble up and i look and like the construction workers are like <laughs> pointedly not looking at me and I was like gosh dang it I just embarrassed myself they don't know me it's fine they can just go home and tell a silly story to their significant others um anyway so then I scrambled back inside really embarrassed but I really hope my finger's okay because I literally just fell on it fun times um this is my life in case you were wondering all right I was gonna give you guys a book tour um, bookshelf tour now that I have finished I finished it all up it looks so good I feel so much better about it now that it's done um and I'll show you guys kind of how I decided to do it like I said here is my Sarah J Mass shrine of course I have Akatar, Crescent City and um Throne of Glass oh my gosh literally my favorite series and I can't even remember the name um, and as I finish like buying the books, I'm gonna stack them up here. I have this picture of MK and I in Italy. And then down here, I have my record player. I decided to put like a few cute little things on it. Um, this is not permanent. I just kind of like threw some stuff on it. This little book club candle, which is so cute. I have to show you guys because it's just adorable. It's from, um, In the Wick of Time. Yeah. And they had like, character specific ones like I almost got one that was Aelin Galathinius scented of course but I didn't I got my friend the Sam Cortland one for her birthday so love okay and then of course I have my records right here I have my Magnolia Park series here I'm currently reading the first Daisy Hates so that is here like for this video but then I'm gonna take it out finish reading it because it's my current read but I wanted to see how it looked right here they all look so pretty I love the spines of these they're just gorgeous here is a close-up of that shelf I think it's so cutie again maybe I need something tall to go on top of this so that's not like for sure where everything's gonna stay but it's good for right now so now we're gonna go through my TBR <laughs> I had a lot more books on my TBR than I thought there were I decided this time not to keep any books that were unread on my bookshelves except for one and it's on display because of course um so while Ma magnolia park series other than the first and the second one these three have not been read but they're close enough to the shelves they're being used on display i obviously know that i need to finish them because i am loving this series but let's go through this i have um my romances right here i do have the special edition of archer's voice gorgeous i saw this at books a million the other day knew i had to have it um, even though I haven't read it yet, I feel like that's a good way to read it. And then I have, okay, Powerless by Lauren Roberts. I have already read this. In fact, this is the original indie published version. However, the uh, novella and second book that she has written are coming out pretty soon. Novella's in like April, and then the second book is in June or July. But I want to reread this. Let me i'll rant about this whenever i make a video about reading this i didn't love this the first time i read it i'm so sorry i went in with so many preconceived notions that i think it screwed me over so this time i'm gonna go in with no preconceived notions 
and we're gonna just have a grand old time reading um oh gosh i'm messing up my shelves eh. okay and then i have if he had been with me which is like a sad romance um i think and then just some any series that i have i just kind of kept them together so this is more of the natural series the hunger games shatter me um the prison healer kingdom of the wicked and then atlas six red rising is also right here a lot of these books i thrifted so if i thrifted the first two books then like they're just right here all together anyways so i did keep them together on my shelves just so that they look really nice Moving down, we have my second shelf. So this was kind of like my immediate TBR, what I want to read like very, very soon. This is kind of like my middle TBR, things that maybe I'll move them up, but maybe I won't read them right away. Realm Breaker, Victoria Aveyard. I have read Red Queen, but I did borrow that from the library so I don't own it. And then um, Carrie Soto is back. A friend gave this to me. The Hotel Nantucket I got from a free little library. These are all kind of more summery reads. So saving those until the summer whenever i can kind of sit on a beach and read them probably um here we have the cruel prince my friend gave this to me because she loves the book i didn't like it the first time i read it i'm gonna give it another shot um rock paper scissors another one that i soft dnf'd and just never picked back up I, that was over a year ago um here are just a few more this is the first trilogy in the dance of thieves duology and then this trilogy technically comes before that so i would like to read these three books and then go back and reread dance of thieves my friend also gave these to me um so excited to read those another one that mk gave to me belladonna she really really loved this book um so i'm thinking that i'm gonna read it i've heard mixed reviews on it you either really like it or it's like meh to you curious to see what i think about that the housemaid another one i thrifted the fear Good Girl's Guide to Murder, MK also gave me this one. This is one of her favorites. And then the last one, MK also gave me Jack, Stalking Jack the Ripper. Um, it has become pretty popular on booktube recently, but I have had this for a while, so I might pick that up kind of soon. And then The Guest House, this is actually an ARC copy that, because um, it came out in September of 2022, this is an advanced reader's copy of it. I found this in a little free library one of those um so i'm excited to read all of these eventually obviously i have some pretty full shelves but i do have one more shelf down here so on this last shelf i have some cassandra claire books i have the first books in these two series um honestly i'm not sure how to read these series but i did thrift these so i thought it would be cool to collect these and see the picture that it makes on my shelf um this is a christian book um, some Colleen Hoover books. I've literally never read a Coho book. Thinking about filming a video where it's like reading Coho for the first time. And so I bought, thrifted these three um, just to kind of see. They were like three bucks. So, you know. Beneath the Scholar Sky is actually a book that I read in school. If you can't tell by the fact that I wrote my name on it. Um, this was a really, really beautiful book. I would love to reread this. So that's why it's on my shelf. This has been on my shelf for a really long time, so if I don't read it soon, I am going to just donate it. Um, I haven't really heard anything about this book, but I did pick it up about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. So I need to um, either read it or get rid of it. Um, From Blood and Ash, this was my sister's copy. She said she didn't like it, so she gave it to me. I need to read this. Um, I kind of started it one time and then didn't like it, so I stopped. So might come back to that one. Foul Lady Fortune, I am saving this one because it comes after these Violent Delights, which is up here on this shelf. So I'm saving this because it's technically the duology or trilogy after that one. So that's why it's down here. I am looking forward to it. I did get the one with the sprayed edges, which is like the Barnes & Noble exclusive edition. Just really pretty. So yes, these are my TBR shelves. So this little guy just has like some of my vinyl cleaning kit and... Um, stamps and pictures and stuff like that in it so that just is going to live down there right now and here we are you saw me put these together so i'm just going to run through these really quick um i have my copies of divine rivals fourth wing and then akatar special editions up here i have all of my harry potter books these are the harry potter library books along with some highlighters and some little matches right here this is shadow and bone slash six of crows and then my Kindle is kind of living up here on top of that right now. Next up, I have my romance shelf. I have all of my Allie Hazelwood books. 
my Elsie Silver books. Um, Lauren Asher, Lucy Score, um, the Bromance Book Club, and then Anna Huang all sit right here. Super cute. I can't decide if I love this plant. I've kind of like spread it out on top, but we'll see. And then here I just have this book about essential oils as well as my mysteries. The Lunar Chronicles lives here, Dance of Thieves, Vow of Thieves, and then um, all of my Stephanie Garber books along with Assistant to the Villain kind of live right here. Last shelf all the way down. Um, I'm not sure this is a great angle, but these are kind of all my leftover books. Um, books I didn't like they live right here, extra copies, um, as well as some like hardbacks that just didn't really fit anywhere else. All the light we cannot see, um, the Illumini uh, files, um, Hamilton Affair, and then just some books that I have that maybe I'll come back to, but I just really enjoy um, still having these books and they just kind of bring out some good memories with me, so I just keep those right here. This has been literally so fun. I'm so glad that I finally got to put my bookshelves back how I wanted them to be. Thank you so much for joining. Hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye besties.